Hey y'all, it's your girl Taylor. You already know what it is. The back Get again. It. Anyways, y'all, it is 2024. We made it. But yeah, we really stepping into 2024. We made it. Yeah, I got a list of things that we need to leave in 2023. Some big, some small. Y'all, I feel like a lot of people have made it a thing nowadays to like hate on Kai Sinat. And I just really would not understand why. I could see, yeah, he had a few problems, but obviously he's young and he's just now getting to the point where he's realizing how famous he really is. So of course he's gonna mess up a few times. I feel like he's just making content for his audience, even if he does something that some people don't agree with you don't have to tune in you don't have to watch him i just see so much hate i feel like i've been said this but y'all need to stop with them damn public pranks and messing with people in public and stuff thinking it's cute asking people stupid stuff touching people face like just snatching phones snatching wigs y'all need to stop doing all of that leave that shit in 2023 y'all should not bring all that evil stupid stuff into the new year like so serious y'all i feel like a lot of people do not want to admit it but it is a lot of racism and ignorance in this world and i feel like can we please just like i know some of y'all ain't but can we please just leave it in 2023 i feel like we need to leave all the clout trolling in 2023 like with doja cat and lil nas x and stuff like that i just don't understand how you could as an artist do certain things and then be surprised when people treat you certain way because of the certain things you did if you're gonna portray satanism and being satanic to your audience you can't be surprised when your audience thinks you're satanic like what or thinks you worship the devil when these are things you're portraying and putting out there i swear people always talk about what you put out into the universe and whatnot it's just so crazy to me that after lil nas x did all that with the blood and the shoe and whatnot he talking about oh i want to be a christian now y'all Y'all are wrong for da 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 telling me I can't da 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 da. How? Blasphemy. And then Doja Cat, she in an interview talking about some. I never said I was demonic. I never said I was satanic. I feel like it just puts a wrench into all the hard work I do. Y'all be low key gaslighting people like, girl, boy, I did not forget what just happened. Y'all be over here clout trolling, doing this and that to get money, doing this and that to get y'all stuff looked at. And boom, now you're looked at. Not everybody think you're a devil worshiper or think you're satanic satanic and whatnot it is what it is y'all i honestly feel like celebrity conspiracy theories are like so crazy and most of the time they be so delulu like please ain't nothing wrong with connecting pieces of information that correlate and being like hmm you could say this maybe ain't nothing wrong with that but it be coming to the point where people i feel like people just be talking just chatting spreading lies about celebrities like oh this this that i heard somebody say beyonce is on crack i don't want to hear no celebrity conspiracy theories unless it's proven unless it's a proven fact don't come to me with none of that crazy stuff because it sounds crazy y'all in 2023 we need to leave people alone who be in them damn relationships because i feel like if you ain't learn once you learn twice because it's always something people who in love they not finna listen to you they, they finna do what the hell they want to do they finna drag you into they shit if they got a problem and then they finna be mad at you afterwards <laughs> and still be back with the person that they had all these problems with like bro y'all seen that situation with Flo and Karina like she came out telling everybody that he was beating on her and he was and he admitted to it and whatnot but I guess he, he apologized and it's okay now and I guess they back together when he was really just with a whole nother girl people who be in them relationships even if they tell you about their problems leave them alone let them be let them do what they do because what what i'm finna get myself into nothing let you do that i'ma tell you like mm, maybe you need to leave that damn man because he ain't shit but after that i'm done i feel like in 2023 we need to stop disrespecting people religion i feel like any way you put it i feel like you're a gross person if you just disrespect somebody religion i feel like every religion or anything somebody believes in you should just let them believe in it don't try to say nothing about it don't try to be judgy about it don't try to passive aggressively poke jabs at it just leave people alone about what they believe in and let them believe y'all ever since tory lane's got sentenced or whatever why people like oh that's so crazy it's still people in the comments saying like oh that's so crazy she lied on that boy Ooh, i just feel a dark energy around her it's something sinister about her no matter how you look at the situation he shot her and he's in jail for it like like y'all finna break him out it is like the situation is what it is y'all gonna keep hating on this girl and keep like chastising her 
for what? For getting shot or for like being sexually active with a lot of men? Like let her do what she do. I honestly do not want to hear no more like DDG, Hallie, like pregnancy stuff until I actually like see that goddamn baby. Y'all, we need to leave them goddamn BBLs, them veneers and all them goddamn surgeries in 2023. I would say if you really want it, ain't nothing wrong with getting it, but I just feel like we should leave the idea of like, oh, I'ma get this, I'ma be better. I'ma get this, I'ma feel better. I do advocate for like your body, your choice, but I also advocate for loving your natural body first before you change it and whatnot. And I feel like especially people who getting them BBLs and you only 20, you're only in your 20s. You don't know like what you could be able to do to your body or what you could be able to like, or how your body could be able to advance more into a woman to where like you could love your shape more as you grow instead of like going to get your surgery done just because everybody else getting it done on the internet. Another thing, I feel like this is like a crazy unpopular opinion, but y'all, I was not happy about SZA getting that BBL. Yeah, like that thing look good. Like it look really good. It look so good and i used to listen to her music in high school and stuff like that and i felt like i related to her so much she would be in her songs talk about some you know i'm insecure about having no booty having no body not feeling comfortable within yourself or not feeling good about yourself in different ways like that and i just feel like her getting a bbl ain't gonna really be the best way to solve them problems she having within herself i feel like you can disagree with me if you want you could be like mm, you're just a hater da -da 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 -da. but I, I feel like i really come from like no hate with it but also i be feeling like dang i don't think that's gonna heal her soul how she thought it was getting that damn bbl you feel me but i don't know you never know another person y'all be hating on a lot and i just do not understand Nicki Minaj. She went on Kai stream and people was in the comments talking shit. I'm like, what? Cause she was twerking or cause she was having fun? Like, what was it really? Kai obviously wanted her to come on the stream and she came on the stream and turned the stream up. So like, what's the problem? I just would not understand where any problem would come in unless Kai was like, she did this or did that. Y'all, but on that goddamn note, I feel like we need to leave them goddamn barbs in them comment sections in the 2023 because I understand you be like, okay, I don't like y'all talking about the person I like. I'm finna da -da -da -da, defend da -da -da -da, but y'all be doing too goddamn much, too motherfucking much. My whole thing is like, if y'all came across this person, would they do all that for you? No. So like, I just would not understand why y'all be doing all of that. I could see like replying or dropping knowledge and stuff like that in the comment section. Or being like, oh no, actually, da 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 da, -da Pink Friday, this, da 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 da. -da. Hmm. You want, you want, you want. It's just giving too much, doing too much. For another thing, we need to leave women getting cheated on and embarrassed in 2023. Like, we really need to leave that. I feel like that is something that has been normalized. Everybody, stop getting cheated on. Everybody, stop getting embarrassed. We ain't doing it no more. Like my whole thing, adultery is such a sin, but y'all over here thinking y'all can have multiple women and cheat and do this with multiple women. And y'all women need to stop getting cheated on and embarrassed. Like if he cheat on you, leave. If he embarrass you, leave. Like what the hell is wrong with you, girl? Goddamn ugly celebrity outfit trends in 2023 too. Like I remember everybody was talking shit about them red boots. Like, oh, they're so ugly. Ugh. I hate these boots. These boots are so ugly. And then why all the bitches wearing the boots? And then it was a lot of people wearing the goddamn boots and like buying the boots type shit. I'm like, and I swear y'all be talking stuff about the stuff, but then y'all get it because everybody else is wearing it. We need to stop with these ugly outfit trends. My whole thing is you're not going to stand out if you're wearing what everybody else is wearing. Y'all, why a lot of people be talking about Oprah like she is a damn saint? And I don't trust Oprah. I don't like Oprah. And it's many reasons. <laughs> y'all feel like y'all already know about that whole Epstein Island thing. And my whole thing is if she friends with this man and she seen in multiple pictures with him, she most definitely probably knew about it. Y'all, Oprah, uh, Oprah owned land in Hawaii or whatever. And y'all know it was a fire in Hawaii. But Oprah, she had police and whatnot close off the road and people couldn't get out with the fire. Like, why are you having people close off roads when it's a fire happening? Cause you don't want people on your roads? Like, how rich are you? When I heard that, I was like, yeah, that's an evil woman. 
And then she on the news with Wayne Rock talking about some, we just want you to help the people of Hawaii. Girl, you goddamn need to help the people of Hawaii. That was so crazy to me, girl. How are you gonna close off your roads to people trying to get away from the fire? And then you gonna sit there and beg for money from poor people. Like this economy is so bad right now, girl. What you, we ain't even got money for groceries and you think we finna give you money? No, you don't want to be giving the money. We need to lead a whole women losing value and whatnot after this, this, that conversation in 2023. That depends on the type of woman that you're dealing with. I feel like that doesn't apply to all women at all. We need to leave all that goddamn homophobia in 2023. I wish we could. I know we're not. But but I feel like, honestly, I feel like it is so sick to walk around here being like, oh, you shouldn't like who you want to like. Like, you're so ignorant. I feel like maybe y'all should see the world from, like, people's point of views. Like, I, bitch, I ain't asked to be gay. I feel like it's society's rule that you can't be gay or society's rule that you can't like this or that you're not normal if you do this or you... Or you this if you do this or you're that if you do that and we need to leave all that back there do what you want as long as it ain't harming nobody or yourself especially if it's just loving somebody you just want to love somebody else but anyways y'all that's all i got this video seemed kind of long but yeah i feel like there's all the things we need to leave in 2023 like literally throw it away bye ain't no reason to bring these goddamn things into 2024 i ain't even put damn Blueface and krishan up on here because i done been left they ass and goddamn two damn unpopular opinion videos ago i'm sick of them <laughs> i'm done i'm done ba yeah, y'all like comment and subscribe we trying to do more content y'all already know that he is i'm really out here working i'm really trying to get in the grind and do my thing so if you like the content subscribe if you want to let me know what kind of videos you like and whatnot put it in the comments because i definitely be down there me and you gonna be down there kicking because ha